Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 Test Takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. I can't imagine you're going to get any draw of the exam where you don't have to, in some way, uh, do a parity calculation. So the minute you see convertible, you're probably saying, hmm, probably going to be something like parity. Parity is when things are equal. You know, the price of the bond is equal to the price of the stock. That's what parity means or vice versa. I will uh, link uh, in the video description, put a link to my convertible lecture called Parity, and I'll also uh, put it in a pinned comment for you. This is uh, from Hot Debrief. Hot Debrief is people who have just finished their exam, and I'm not allowed to ask them particular questions, but I can say, hey, you know, what were you, uh, did you feel you weren't prepared for? And based on what they tell me, I try and reverse engineer a question like this that uh, approximates what they should have done perhaps a better job on. Anyway, so here we go with this uh, performance opportunity. A convertible bond is trading at 900. It has a conversion price of 25. So if you've been with me any length of time, you know that the minute you get the conversion price, you're going to have to get the conversion ratio. So when given the conversion price, we need to establish the conversion ratio. We don't do that right off the bat. We're gonna have troubles down the road in the question. So that's step number one, whenever we get a convertible question. Now, you know, maybe you get a decent draw and they just tell you what the conversion uh, ratio is, but I wouldn't count on it. So remember these uh, conversion terms are based on par. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take par, which is a thousand, and we're gonna divide by the conversion price, which in this case is $25. And that gives us the uh, conversion ratio. And so it's 40 to one. And what we mean is 40 shares for each of these bonds. So if you turn them in, kind of neat, if you want, you can turn these in and the issuer will give you 40 shares of the common. Now, typically what you would do is, you know, you'd wait and at the very end, remember you're buying them at par when they're in the primary market. But then later on, you know, at the, whenever the maturity is up, because if you want the stock, you want the your thousand dollars back. Anyways, what is the bonds convertible premium? So they're asking us, uh, what is the bond in terms of how far above parity is it? And so what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to see what is parity of the bond so we can see what that premium is. So parity of the bond, the way we do that, very testable, is we take the 40 shares we can get for the bond, we times it by the current market price, which in this case is $20 a share, and we find out here that parity of the bond is $800. That's the price at which these would be equivalent. So let's get that there. What I just did, and let's put that in a different color. Let's put that in black. And what I just did is I did parity of the bond. And the way I did that was I took the number of shares, the conversion ratio, and I times it by the current market price of the convertible. So that's what I did. So now I'm back in business. Now I'm back in business because now I can uh, look at my answer set and I see that I'm offered here. So now we go back and see what the bond is trading at. So let's do that. The bond is trading at uh, 900. And we just calculated parity is 800. And so our answer here is A. That is the premium because the bond's trading at a $100 premium to parity, right? Parity would be equal. So they're asking, what would that be above? Kind of like this question, so you know it's it's not you know it's not your garden variety convertible question, but you know we should be able to get the answer. All right, well remember, inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch, uh, yard by yard, your series seven is hard, and I'll see you for the next version of a explicated question.